Okay, we are doing uh, electrolysis. Of copper sulfate. Okay, that is aqueous copper sulfate. This will be done in two different conditions. One is by using passive electrodes. Either you can use platinum. Or you can use graphite. Yeah. Okay, and uh, other way in which this electrolysis can be done that will be by using active electrode. Yeah. In active electrodes, we are going to have copper itself and that will be used as anode. For active electrodes, the purpose of this electrolysis is either electro refining. What's that, sir? I'm just explaining that. Or it can be electroplating. Okay, these are the two purposes for which we will be doing electrolysis by using active electrodes. That is, copper metal is used as anode. First, we are going to do this part. Okay, that is by using passive electrode that is platinum or graphite. Yeah. All right. So now the entire electrolysis process. First of all, the electrolytic vessel. In this, we are having the electrolyte, electrolyte. is aqueous CuO4. Mm. Okay, the two electrodes that are there. This will be the positive electrode that is anode. This is your negative electrode that is cathode. Of course, bulb and other things are there, key, etc. Okay, this bulb will get lighted up when you turn the switch on. Okay, so first we are going to write down the dissociation reaction. Okay, CuSO4 is there. CuSO4. Yeah. And what else? Sure. All right. Now, this will get split up as Cu2 plus. And SO4. And SO4. Two two minus minus. Okay, water is going to split up into H plus, plus OH minus. And OH minus. Yeah. Okay, these are the cations that are present. The these cations cathode. will go at cathode. Yeah. Mm. At cathode. Oh, no, I'm just uh, from Cu2 plus and H plus. Okay, copper is placed lower in the activity series, so copper is getting discharged. I'll just make that correction. Oh. Plus two electrons are there. This is going to give us copper metal that is getting deposited at cathode. Okay, hydrogen is not getting discharged because if you see the activity series, copper is below hydrogen. Okay. Yeah. So now the reaction that is taking place at anode. The ions that are present are OH minus. And SO4 2 minus. Out of this, yeah. OH minus is lower in the activity series. Okay, so OH minus is going to get discharged. It will lose one electron. This is going to produce hydroxyl. OH hydroxyl radical. Radical. Okay, this hydroxyl radical is unstable, so it is going to split up into water and, and oxygen yeah. gas. Okay, you yeah. can balance this equation. This will be multiplied by 2, this will be multiplied by 4. Four. Okay, so now we are going to write down the overall reaction for this. CuSO4 is there, plus H2O is there. Okay, I'm just going to break this up ions as Cu2 plus at SO4 2 minus. 
This is getting splitted as H plus and OH minus. Out of this, copper is getting discharged, so this is gone. Okay. And OH. And here OH minus is gone. So what is remaining into the solution is going to be H2SO4. Yeah. This is going to remain in the solution. All right. Yeah. Plus Cu2 plus ions are there. They are getting discharged at cathode. Mm. And this OH minus is producing oxygen. That is O2. This will be produced at anode. Okay, it's an anion that will be produced at anode. Alright, this is yeah. going to be copper metal. Okay, so solid copper metal is going to get discharged at cathode. It means <clears throat> what is happening over here is from CuSO4, the Cu part is getting discharged because it is lower in the activity series. And from H plus and OH minus, OH minus is getting discharged compared to SO4 2 minus because it's lower in the activity series as compared to sulfate ion that is going to produce oxygen gas. Now what is happening over here is copper sulfate initially it was in the solution. Now there is deposition of copper metal at the electrode. Now the solution, uh, the color of the solution of copper sulfate is blue. So after the electrolysis has taken place, the concentration of copper ions has de have decreased. Because the concentration of copper ions have decreased, what happens here? Okay, the color of the solution gets faded. Why? This is a very important give reason question for a structured part. Okay, the color of copper sulfate, yeah. aqueous copper sulfate solution gets faded. The reason for that is when you are electrolyzing copper sulfate, at that time the concentration mm. of copper ions is getting decreased because it is getting deposited as metallic okay. cathode. Okay, yeah. uh, it is getting deposited as metallic copper. That is what is happening at cathode. Okay. All right. So this was electrolysis of copper sulfate in presence of passive electrodes like platinum. Okay, okay. the reactions that okay. are taking place in case of active electrodes when you are using copper metal as anode, the reactions are different from these. Okay. Now electrolysis of aqueous copper sulfate using active electrodes. So your copper rod is used as anode. Right. <clears throat> Now again, the, the splitting or dissociation reactions are going to be same only for these two cations. Okay, these are the cations. So this will go at cathode. Out of Cu2 plus and H plus, all right, copper is placed lower in the activity series. So the reaction that is going to take place at cathode will be same. Cu2 plus. Plus two, plus, plus two electrons, this is going to give us deposition of solid yeah, metallic yeah. copper. Okay. okay. Now the reaction yeah. that will be taking place at for these anions, this reaction is taking place at anode. Yeah, anode. So the reaction that is taking place at anode, The ions that are present over here are OH minus ions, SO4 2 minus mm -hmm. ions. Also remember here the electrode is active electrode. The electrode over here is copper metal itself. This yeah. is copper rod. So over here, the solid copper that is there, it is difficult for OH minus ions or sulfate ions to give away the electrons instead of that it is more easier for metallic copper itself to give away the electrons. So what is happening at copper anode is the metallic copper itself okay solid copper that is there it is losing these two electrons and it is going into the solution in the form of metallic copper. So now from solid state it is becoming aqueous. 
Oh. It means how much ever ions are have got deposited at cathode, the same amount of metallic copper gets dissolved and it goes into the solution in the form of copper ions. So then there is okay. no change only. There is absolutely no change, but this reaction is used for a particular useful purpose. Okay, because as you see, suppose if I'm considering this is an electrolytic vessel. Oh. Okay. Yeah. This is your positive electrode that is anode. This is your negative electrode. Cathode. Okay, that is cathode. So this hmm. anode which is there, at this anode, this copper is getting dissolved. It means this yeah. anode is decreasing in size. Its mass is decreasing. While what is happening over here, okay, at this place that is at cathode, here the same yeah. amount of copper metal is getting deposited. It means here this will increase in size. Now and what is the purpose decrease. of doing this? Yes, and obviously the size of the anode is going to decrease. So what is the purpose of using this? Okay, this can be used for purification of copper. Yeah. Because you see, whatever the impurities that are there, they are not going to get attracted uh, at the other electrodes. Yeah. Only ionic copper is going to get attracted. It means whatever the impurities are there, they will just stay down over here. They will just get dissolved over here and this will stay down over here. This is known as anode mud. Okay. So this process so which is the there. Impurities. Pardon? The anode mud is the impurities. The impurities which are there, obviously they will not get attracted. Only metallic copper is going to get attracted towards the cathode. So this, this yeah. process is for purification of metallic copper. This is what is known as electro refining. Oh. Okay, and what is happening at <clears throat> cathode, that much amount of metal is going to get deposited. So I'm going to use here pure metallic copper and all that copper which is there, it is getting deposited at cathode. Anode. cathode. Okay, it is getting deposited at cathode and anode is getting dissolved, it is decreasing in size. Another yeah. thing for which it can be used is electroplating. What is that? It is plating one metal over another. Suppose here this is oh. this cathode which is there is an iron spoon. Yeah. Okay. And over that the deposition of copper is going to take place. Right. So this, this is we are plating one metal over another. Iron can be prevented rusting by this method because it is getting coated with metallic copper. If you are doing yeah. electro refining, that will be the purification purpose. In that case, you are going to get over your anode mud. Got that? Yeah. Okay. Same way, other metals also can be plated. For example, uh, we are having, if you are having silver articles, if you are using a solution in which a salt of silver or an ion of sil uh, ionic salt of silver in the aqueous state will be present. <coughs> So some element like copper, an ornament of copper will be there that can be coated with silver. So it is going to become silver plating. Similarly, silver articles can be plated with gold. It will be known as gold plating. So that is what is gold plated jewelry. So from inside, actually the article may be made up of silver or copper, but from outside it is getting coated with gold. So that is what is known as gold plated jewelry. Even on copper also you can plate it with silver. So that will be silver plated jewelry. Inside that actual ornament may be made of metal like copper. Got that? Yeah. So this is what is electro refining and electro plating is. You can also write down the definitions of electro plating, coating of one metal over another. What is the purpose of this? Okay. No, right. This is electroplating. 
so either to open the appearance it's going right ha uh. and second thing is to prevent rusting That's or tarnishing right. yeah because we are going to coat the superior metal over the inferior metal okay so this will be the purpose of is electro refining of course this process is done electrolytically electro refining gas purification of a metal by electrolysis method okay metals like gold platinum silver copper okay all these metals can be used for purification purposes